Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, April 27th, 2022 at 9 a.m. It is literally 9 a.m. right now. Um, and it, of course, it's still the second week of Easter. Wednesday in the second week of Easter, and we are here to pray the Angelus and a psalm. And maybe some scripture. We'll see what the Lord directs. Alexa, cancel. Angelus Domini Nunciavit Mariae et Concepit de Spiritus Sancto, Ave Maria, Grazia Plena Dominus Tecum, Benedicta tu in Mulieribus et Benedictus Fructus Ventris tu Iesus, Sancta Maria Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ecce in Chilla Domini, Fiat mihi secundum verbum tuum, Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Et verbum caro factum est et habitabit in nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ora pro nobis sancta Dei genitrix, ut dimia feciamur, missionibus Christi, oremus. Gratiam tuum quesimus domine, mensibus nostri sentunde, ut qui angelo nunciante Christi filii tui incarnationem caniobimus, per passionem eis et crucem, Ad resurrectionis gloriam perducam, per unum Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Psalm 76, God, you are known in Judah, in Israel, your name is great. You set up your tent in Jerusalem, in your dwelling place in Zion. It was there you broke the flashing arrows, the shield, the sword, the armor. <clears throat> you, O Lord, are resplendent, more majestic than the everlasting mountains. The warriors, despoiled, slept in death. The hands of the soldiers were powerless. At your threat, O God of Jacob, horse and rider lay stunned. You alone strike terror. Who shall stand when your anger is roused? You uttered your sentence from the heavens. The earth in terror was still. When you arose to judge to save the humble of the earth. Human anger will serve to praise you. Those who survive it rejoice in you. Make vows to your God and fulfill them. Let all pay tribute to the one who strikes terror, who cuts short the breath of rulers, who strikes terror in the leaders of the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I want to share this not because I want to talk about myself, but, be, but because this is uh, it's a ministry for drug addicts. And it's also, of course, for anyone, a lot of other people too, but it, most directly drug addicts because I'm a drug addict. So I woke up this morning, you know, I, and I was, I rarely, I rarely complain, you know, I try, you know, and the reason is not because I, you know, I'm trying to be so great or anything like that, but it's because this is the way I kind of view it. Is that like if I'm in a miserable mood, like rehearsing my misery aloud just makes me more pissed. Like, and I just don't feel like doing that. I don't feel like making myself more miserable than I already am. So I usually don't complain. Usually that's, and <coughs> but today, <coughs> let me get let me get the phone here. Hold on. I 
woke up. And I said to my dad, I said, my sinuses are all dried out because I'm smoking cigarettes and the receipt paper because I ran out of rolling papers. I'm tired as hell right now because of the COVID-19 long hauler shit. I want to go back to sleep because my muscles hurt. This is how I feel pretty much every day. And then I made a joke. You know, the Lord gave me some humor. And, and uh, I said, I imagine that's how David Letterman felt much of the time. Because my dad likes David Letterman. And then I, I made this little, this comic right here. And, uh, you know, then the Lord, you know, then I'm laughing with my dad. And, uh, and, then, and then I get irritated again because I, I wanted, you know what I mean? Because, which is probably what Letterman would have said and I would have said. And, of course, the Lord didn't even let me see that until afterward. And then the Lord got me pissed over some, co could not find the bottom of the um, French press thing. And I lost my shit. Like, really. Like, the neighbors probably heard me, I'm pretty sure. Because all I wanted to do is get some coffee. And it's, the weird thing was, is I knew that I was not that mad before. And then the Lord says to me, and he's like, I got you like that. And I was like, yeah, I know, but why? Like, why do you have to do that? Like, I don't, you know, I don't need to, again, rehearse. And so anyway, so he calms me down and stuff. <coughs> and, um, and then I found a picture of Letterman like this, with a beard like mine, and, and like a lot of people's. And it kind of reminded me of a Jesus beard a little bit. And it reminded me of that sentence, you know, that sentence of scripture there. And uh, I want to tell you, I want to tell you that, and the Lord wants me to tell you, actually is really where that's coming from, and I feel that, that having faith in, in the Lord and walk in the way of faith is not about, because drug addicts have a lot of experience with being, you know, all over the place. We do. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, our emotions get pulled all over the place and, and all kinds of stuff. And our, you know, we get angry. <laughs> Excuse me, my sinuses. Yeah. But... <coughs> <coughs> it's weird. I'm not dehydrated, but I feel dehydrated up here in the sinuses. Lord, bring it back to what we're going to say. Um, our emotions pulled all over the place. But it's not about that. It's not about being like super, super calm all the time. We get that by the practice of faith, you know what I mean? Over time, but we still have our moments. And that's okay, you know what I mean? If you are a drug addict, you know, you probably don't see a lot in common with you when you go into a church. You know what I mean? It seems like everybody in there is like living a totally different lifestyle than you. And to some degree, it's true. But not always. You don't always know what you don't see. Um, and the thing is, is, you know, being living a Christian lifestyle, you know, and, and walking the, the walk of faith is about looking for what we have in common. You know, when you follow Christ, you begin to see like what we all share, what we all share, and you focus on that. And it draws us together, you know? And the more you do it, the more you'll see that. That's all I can say right now. I'm sorry I'm not more articulate about that, but that really is what that's about. And if you have the grace to, 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 to see that, then blessed are you, because more will be given to you. Absolutely, as, as Jesus says, you know. Um, I think that we're going to save this passage of Scripture for this evening. I think, I don't know, you know what I mean? I thought we were going to read it this morning. I didn't know we were going to do this this morning. I had no idea. <coughs> the Lord said to me before, he's like, maybe we'll read this this morning, maybe not. I don't know, I don't want to tell you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You do this to me all the time. Absolutely, I'm used to it. So that's fine. That's very, very good. I'm very pleased with this because anything that speaks directly to drug addicts, you know, I feel really, really good about because that's what this ministry is about, especially. Um, it's 
My mother, by the way, okay, this, if you didn't, you might have caught this in the top. I said a census taker once tried to test me. My mother, when she knows I'm getting irritated with stuff, she sends me more stuff to irritate me. Like, like I mean, you wouldn't, I, I can't believe it. My mom, I, unbelievable. But anyway, so I, I screenshotted it and sent it to my dad with a line from him with a line from Silence of the Lambs where Hannibal Lecter says, a census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. So I sent her, I sent him that, that, that's what that is. That's what that line is about, by the way. <clears throat> you know what's really weird? This is gonna, okay, this is a, totally not something you would hear in a church. <coughs> I have... I just, you know, I identify with the character of Hannibal Lecter a lot because we have, we're like the same things artistically and musically, right? You know, that's pretty much as far as I've ever thought about it. And then the Lord the other day says, you know, but there's also the cannibalistic aspect. I was like, whoa, I never thought about it. he eats people, even though it's not, you know, and in Christianity, right? We feed on the body, on, 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 on the body of Christ. Right? And I was like, okay, that's weird. I've never thought of that before. But I guess, you know, but see, here's the thing. Now, we all are the body of Christ. It's not just the church. And that still is, I'm not trying to harmonize that because that, you know what I mean? But it is a weird way to think about it. I never thought about that before. How bizarre. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I never thought about that. <clears throat> everything the Lord creates, though, is all, you know, we have a, a way of saying, you know, this is godly, or this is from God, and that's not from God. The truth really is, even though we know this, is that everything is from God. But, you know, we're never gonna, we're never gonna have that attitude, I don't think, because, I mean, we still have to separate, like, what's good from, like, what's, what's best avoided, you know what I mean? And that's just the way that's always gonna be. That makes perfect sense, but... But the Lord also calls us to um, to see that all is from God as well. Amen. All right. So I'm going to remind you, as I uh, do every day, and reminding myself to brush your teeth, to floss, especially and most especially to say your prayers. And I will see you in the next video. I'm probably going to get some sleep in a little bit. What I'm going to do, I actually, I'm going to make some cinnamon rolls after this. And that is probably going to knock me out for a little bit. I had a rough time last night making the uh, chicken, but it came out great. Um, I was too tired to do a video to show. I sent some pictures to some people. So, so that's it, everybody. I love you all. Have a very happy Easter.